Oh, you want to tell me what happened? Uh, Ted. His uh, special little romance with Dixie never died. Our marriage is over. He made a choice, and uh, she was it. He wants a divorce. Rook, I don't know what to say. This is that forgiveness that you talked about. Hey, look, if it makes you feel any better, Tad looked awful when he walked out of here. Well, it deserves a lot worse than looking awful. You two had quite a go-around, huh? I knocked the tree down after he left. <laughs> we barely raised our voices. Really, you know, we talked about how we want to make this as amicable as possible. So everything's been decided? You know, my weird... my weird mood at the cemetery? It wasn't just about Laura or Tad or Dixie. I mean, it would be a lot simpler, you know, if I was just the jilted wife left alone in my misery. But I'm not alone. I have Jamie and, and there's something else that I haven't told anybody about. It just makes everything more complicated. I'm pregnant, and I, uh, I lied through my teeth, and I told Ted that I wasn't. When your husband comes home to tell you that he wants a divorce, the last thing in the world you want to do is telling you're pregnant. I understand that. But, Brooke, you can't hide this forever. You've got to tell him sooner or later. <laughs> he was so relieved. The color came back into his face. How are you? When I think of... how this child was conceived with that man... I mean, I practically got down on my knees and I... and begged him because I thought I had, you know... blown our chance at, at happiness. I... I wanted to get that magic back again. I... I was... I was pathetic. I pulled out all the stops that night. I did everything. I was pitiful. You know, Tad must have thought he was doing me the favor of a lifetime, sleeping with me one last time before he went off to Canada and made his choice between Dixie and me. I lost. Well, so be it. It's done. You know what, though? This time I will never... I will never forgive him. And I don't owe him the truth about anything. Not now and not ever. I just wish there was something I could say to make you feel better. I hate liars, you know. I hate believing in people and then finding out that they lie. Do you hate me? How could I hate you? I, I lied to Ted. I'm so stupid. People do whatever they have to do. I, I want to know how I can help you. You're my best friend, you know? You can tell me how I got into this, how I get out. All I can say is that you, you will find a way. I'm lost. One day at a time, it works. And what about Christmas? There's Jamie. I don't know what to do. I'm... I'm floundering, you know. You're gonna I... be okay. You're gonna be okay, Brooke. You're gonna pull yourself up by the bootstraps, because that's what you've always done. You're gonna be okay. 
I just need some time. I need time to think about what I'm going to do. All right. Really, thank you for listening. Whatever you decide, I know it'll be right. Oh, how would I live without you? If you need anything, you know where I am, all right? Thank you for the present. Love you. I love you, too. This is sudden, but you know what? Santa Claus finds little boys and girls wherever they are. When they're good, he finds them and he brings them presents, huh? All right, let's say goodbye, house. Goodbye, house. Yeah, goodbye, house. Because we're not going to come back here. All right, we'll find a we'll find a wonderful home. Journey someplace else. Bye, house. Yeah, you'll find us.